Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can tip Caspa to different people within the Discord of Caspa. If you're not in the Caspa Discord, I highly encourage you that you join it because this is a great way to be part of the community and actually be around when future votes come up so that you can be a part of the voting process for future developments. If you want to join the Discord, all you have to do is simply come to caspa.org, scroll all the way to the bottom and come where it says join and follow the community and just click that Discord option right there. Once you click that, it will actually send you an invite and then you can join the Discord. Once you are in the Caspa Discord, if you want to set up this K wallet bot so that you can actually tip people Caspa or withdraw the Caspa from it because you recently got tip Caspa using it. This is the way you're going to want to set it up. So if you're a brand new user to it, you're going to want to put forward slash K wallet unlock. Doing this will allow you to set up a brand new password to actually get access to this wallet. And this can just be whatever you want. And then once you put it in, now you can unlock your wallet. So if you want to unlock your wallet, you would just put the K wallet unlock and then go ahead and put that password in there. If someone sends you Caspa, you may also just get a direct message from the K wallet bot and it'll actually explain to you how to do this. And it just says here, hi, I'm a Caspa wallet bot. Someone just tipped you 250 Caspa using me. You should find a message regarding this in your mentions to open a wallet and receive the Caspa type slash K wallet unlock and set a password. Your seed phrase will be saved encrypted on the server to display your seed phrase type slash K wallet info show secret true. So this is what you should get the first time someone sends you Caspa if someone did and then if you don't have anyone send you Caspa but you still want to set this up you're just going to want to use that command forward slash k wallet unlock once you unlock it you can now actually see your seed phrase it should send you a direct message of the seed phrase but if it didn't you can just go to sl forward slash k wallet info and then just make sure you select show secret set it to true and then what it's going to do is actually show you your wallet address and then it's going to show you your seed phrase down here and then it's going to show you your balance and then the utxo account i really don't care if you guys are seeing this because i don't use this to hold any significant amount of caspa truly this should not be your go-to to hold your caspa this should just be something for fun when you want to tip someone some caspa within the discord just because you want to be kind uh this is what you can use and it's a quick way to do that so if you want to load up caspa on here so that you can send and receive caspa you just send it to this address right here you'll copy that into your wallets and then you could send like 100 caspa in here just to tip some people some caspa if you want to lock your wallet so that no one has access to moving around funds you can just do forward slash k wallets and then just put lock once you put that it's going to actually lock the wallet and the only way you can now send caspa off of this is by putting forward slash k wallet unlock and putting your password in again if you want to withdraw caspa from this wallet into your actual normal uh st cold storage device or hot wallet that you have you're just going to want to put slash k wallet and make sure you put withdraw right here forward slash k wallet withdraw you'll put the amount and then you'll put the address that you want the caspa to go to Mind you that this does not calculate fees on its own. So if you had 250 Caspa, for example, you're probably going to want to put 249.9 Caspa so that it can actually have a little bit of Caspa for the fee. This isn't the only way you can withdraw your Caspa from the Discord wallet. Another way you can do that is by getting your seed phrase right here and actually importing it to either Caspium or the Caspa web wallet. If you're unfamiliar with those, I have videos describing those in one of my playlists. Over here, you could see a playlist that says where to hold your Caspa. I have videos explaining the web wallet and the Caspium wallet, but all you have to do is simply just go to something like the web wallet and import those 12 word seed phrase, and then you can get access to the Discord wallet and move around the Caspa funds if you would like to. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to send someone some Caspa. So all you're going to want to do is put forward slash K wallet and then look for where it says tip. This is how the command is going to look. It's going to ask you to who you want to send it to. And I'm just going to choose a random person here at hash dag, which is not really a random person, but the founder of Caspa. And then the amount is just going to simply be either whatever you want to put in there. And then there's some other options that you can choose for sending this. 
And one option is sending a message alongside it. And another important one is the inclusive fee option, which says fees are deducted from the amount sent. And this is good so that it can automatically calculate the fee when you are sending the CASPA and you don't have to worry about having a little bit of extra CASPA there to send the CASPA to someone else. So that's pretty much all the basic commands you need to know for how to use this tip wallet within the Discord. And it's a really cool system so you can tip each other Caspo within the Caspo community. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you have not gotten your Tantrum wallet yet, there's a link down below where you can get yours by using the code Caspo Silver. You can get 10% off of it. Please consider getting either Tantrum or One Key or just keeping your Caspo offline because this is really important to keep your Caspo safe. If you're keeping your Caspo on an exchange, you risk losing all your funds. So please go ahead and take a look at this playlist where it says where to hold your Caspa and look at the different options you have to keep your Caspa safe. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, don't be average, be different.